and come in. Hello everyone, it's Lucy Fink. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Cue door slam. If you're new here, be sure to click right in the corner and subscribe now. And give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see the inside of our new New York City apartment. So, if you recently watched my apartment search story video on YouTube, you know that finding this space was a bit of a long time coming. We were rejected from two previous apartments before we finally got this one. We're just renting, so we don't own this space, but we are really excited because it's our first two bedroom apartment together. And it's also our first newlywed apartment. So we're getting married very soon and this is the space we're gonna be coming home to after we get married. I just got the keys to this new space today. So this is my first day in here. So it's completely empty and bare. Bear with me on the echoey sound because there are 12 foot ceilings and wooden floors. So it's definitely an echoey space when there's no furniture. But I wanted to do this apartment tour and show you what the space looks like completely raw with nothing inside because we haven't designed it yet and we haven't gotten our furniture and I would love some of your suggestions. So I'm gonna tell you kind of what we're thinking and what we wanna put in each space, but I would love if you could comment below as we go and let me know if you have any other ideas. So just to orient you, we are in downtown Manhattan and this is a two bedroom apartment. It's about 1200 square feet, but it's kind of difficult to determine exactly how many square feet it is because it's such an interesting layout. The entire apartment is a triangle and as you will see, a lot of the spaces are very angular, so it's difficult to determine the exact square footage, but it's around 1200. So let's just get started at the top of the tour. So when you first walk into the space and you come through the door, you'll see that there's a really cool light fixture right over the door. It kind of looks like a honeycomb and it's got black and gold accents, very pretty. Next, you'll see these double door closets to your left. One thing you'll notice about all of the closets and honestly all of the cabinets in the entire apartment are that they're two stories high. So because this is a 12 foot tall space, all of the closets have a second story of closets on top of them, which is why you'll notice that the absolute only piece of furniture in this apartment right now is this lovely step ladder. This is going to be the only way we can get to all of our cabinets and closets, so we're really excited about that. So now once you're in the entry space, you'll see if you turn left here, you're in this little triangular nook. This is kind of just an entry space. It has a lot of natural light. It makes it so that the moment you walk into the apartment, you really get blasted with the sunlight, which we love. Our plan right now is to put three bookcases up against this wall. And we wanna put the really tall bookcases that screw into the wall so that we don't have to worry about them tipping over. And then we currently have a white desk in our apartment that we do a lot of work at and all of that. And even though we do have a second bedroom, which is designated as our office, we are gonna put a desk with a little desk chair right under this window. So that's our plan for this space. And as you can see, it's just a big empty triangle, just the shape I love. Now let's go in to the second bedroom slash the office. Closets. Closet, <laughs> closet, okay. So we're in the second bedroom. This is a very small room. I, I don't know how big it looks on camera, but I believe it's eight feet across by 10 feet that way. We're putting some sort of a futon here and we would love for it to be a really pretty color and maybe put some stick on wallpaper on the wall behind us so that we can accentuate the colors. And then on the wall to the right when you walk in, we're gonna put some sort of a leaning desk. This really is designated as the office space, so we want to make sure we can do our work in here, but also have a couch that turns into a bed so that guests can stay over. As you'll notice, in this room, as well as the other bedroom and the living room, this apartment has no central air, so there are air conditioning units in the window, and these units have a specific remote that you can use to control them to turn them on when you're not right next to them. Another thing I loved about the second bedroom is that there's this bookcase right behind you, and it's built right into the wall. So we have so many books, and although we are assembling those bookcases out in the entry hall, this is really helpful too for us. Books, books, books. So our other plan for this room is probably over here along this window. We just wanna fill the space with plants and greenery and make it super bright and colorful in here. So this is where I'm gonna leave all of my production equipment, all of my lights, cameras, lenses, and plants. So now that we saw the second bedroom, let me show you the second bathroom. Let's go. Oh, and these are the closets in here. So once again, two levels of closets. I can show you what's in it now, but it's basically just all of my stuff from today that I'm trying to hide from this video. Okay, 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 you've seen enough. And once I have my hair 
handy dandy step ladder here, I'll be able to open this. And this will be great for storing things like luggage and also for storing summer clothes when it's winter or winter clothes when it's summer. All right, to the second bathroom. So this is our guest bathroom. I'm going in. The bathrooms are both kind of small, but I love them because they're just very simple. My favorite color palette, just marble, white, and very light wood. There's a toilet that flushes really loudly. I wish I had to pee so I could show you. Maybe I'll show you later. And our second bathroom is where the bathtub is. So if you come here, you can see we've got a tub, and then we have a nice shower head, and it's just overall a nice little second bathroom. I would use it as the first bathroom, but I already have one. Now we're back in that entry hall where we first walked in. So what you're seeing behind me is my favorite view of the entire apartment. It really shows you the angular nature of the space. And if you look really closely, you can see that tucked off to the right is the kitchen and all the way straight down the lane ahead of you is the living room. So now I'm gonna take you into the kitchen. This is my favorite room in the entire apartment. Welcome to my bright white cabinet kitchen. I have never had bright white cabinets. All of the apartments I've lived in in New York City have had brown cabinets. And finally, we have white cabinets. Come on in. So as I mentioned with the closets, the kitchen is very compact and tall. So there are really high cabinets that we do need to step on a step ladder to get to. But most of the stuff that's low is really the stuff we're gonna be using every day. For example, in disguise as a cabinet, we have a dishwasher which is very hard to come by in a lot of New York City apartments, especially downtown in pre-war buildings. So I'm very excited we found this. And our refrigerator also is in disguise as a cabinet. I love when appliances are in disguise. <laughs> Just one of my favorite things. Oh, I should have mentioned, I got cupping the other day, which is why you're seeing these cup marks. In case you were just seeing my back and thinking that I slammed it in a perfect circle, no. Here's the refrigerator and the one thing that is in there right now is my iced matcha latte in my glass cup. I love that the cabinets are this sleek white shiny material. We actually are getting closets built into the bedroom and they are gonna have the same doors. So it's gonna resemble the kitchen. And if you wanna see my favorite cabinet in here, it's this one. Whoa. I've never had something like this. Stove top, oven, microwave, a lot of cabinets. And as I mentioned, there is overhead lighting in here. So not only is there a little bit of lighting above the windows, but there's also lighting on the ceiling and there's also lighting under the cabinets as such. One of my favorite parts of this is knowing that I'll be able to cook at night and have this beautiful, almost pinky orange kitchen light on me. Very excited to cook. Okay, so now it's time to get to the bedroom. If you look straight ahead behind me, that is the living room, but we're gonna hang a right and go into the bedroom first. Here we are in the bedroom. So we had a little bit of difficulty figuring out where to put the bed in this space. I think right now our plan is to put the bed here, coming out of the window wall. And the reason we wanted to do that is because when you walk into the room, we wanted to be able to kind of walk straight to the bathroom, not walk around the bed. We have a dresser already in our current apartment that we're gonna put off to the side here. And then opposite the bed, we will put a little TV stand to put our TV on. And along that back wall on the side is where those closets that I was mentioning are gonna be built. So we went to Ikea and we ordered that pack system of closets and they're gonna be built all along that wall and basically give us some additional closet space, even though, as you will see, we do have a walk-in closet. Now on to the master bathroom. For the first time in New York City, we have a glass shower door. Wow. So this is our shower. Slides like this. And my favorite part about this shower is that there's a giant rain head. So it totally just right on top of you and it just rains down on you. And show you that we have a medicine cabinet in here. There's also two drawers, a beautiful sink, and that's the bathroom. So now that you've seen the master bedroom and bathroom, I'm gonna take you to see the walk-in closet that actually has a washer dryer in it. Let's go. Here's our walk-in closet. I'm walking in. This is great because it comes with some of these shelves assembled that has extra hanging space and obviously extra shelves. And this washer dryer, man, I mean, I have never had my own washer dryer in my life. 
let alone in New York City. So when I saw this, I was just, you mean I get to just throw my underwear in the washer dryer at any time that I please? Wow, how exciting. So this is my new best friend in the apartment. Very excited to wash and dry. Why underwear? And now we are off to my actual favorite room in the apartment, even though I've pretty much said every room is my favorite, the living room. This is a beautiful space with windows on three sides of the room. I just can't believe we found a space that has this many windows. In the living room, the way we plan on decorating this space is we're gonna put an L-shaped couch like this along this back wall and along this corner. This L-shaped couch will have a coffee table in front of it and we're gonna put a TV stand and a TV opposite it right under that window. And then our plan is to use the very back of this living room space as a dining nook. So we're gonna get a dining table, four chairs. We'll probably try to get a table that can seat more than four people in case we have guests over. But I guess, you know, it's not that big of a space, so we'll have to keep it as compact as possible. And if we can find one that's the right size, we would love to get one of those buffet tables that we can keep just tucked under the back window there in case we want to keep extra dishes or cups in it so we don't have to keep getting up and going to the kitchen when we're setting the table. Our plan right now is against this back wall where the back of the couch is gonna go, wallpaper the entire thing with a very modern geometric wallpaper. We think it will work really nicely with the rug that we've picked out for the living room, which is kind of retro and kind of mid-century modern. My absolute favorite thing about all these windows is that the ledges are really, really deep. So if you follow me to the front window, this is what I'm gonna be doing every single morning. And my absolute favorite view in the entire apartment is the Empire State Building that you're seeing behind me. So beautiful. This is where I'm basically going to have my coffee every morning and just sit and look out on the city and just be so grateful that we are moving into this beautiful space. So we just formally got the keys to this space, but I have had access to this apartment for the past couple of weeks. And every single time I come, whether it's just to check it out or do a little bit of cleaning, I have parked myself right here in my favorite window. I popped in my headphones and I've started listening to some audiobooks on Audible. And this video is actually sponsored by Audible. This is a partnership that I'm so excited about because not only have I been on a major audiobook kick lately, but I'm also giving you the chance to get your first audiobook for free, plus two Audible Originals when you try Audible for 30 days. Audible Originals are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated writers of everything from journalism and literature to theater and comedy, and these are only available on Audible. So visit audible.com slash Lucy Fink or text Lucy Fink to 500, 500 to get started. Especially in the midst of this move, I've been trying to consume more and more content that's gonna help me eliminate all of the excess clutter and noise in my life and really spend my time and energy in all the right places. My assistant recommended Essentialism by Greg McEwen, and it's been amazing to just pop in my headphones and then go about doing what I need to do, knowing that I'm intaking information that's gonna make me both more mindful in my personal life and more efficient in my professional life. I personally love the speed control feature since I tend to try and take in as much information as I can in as short a time as possible. So sometimes I speed up the narrations, but other times I do want to feel less rushed, so I'll make the narration slower, which seems to fit really well with the theme of the book I'm listening to at the moment. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the entire planet, so there's honestly something here for everyone. And I'm so excited to give you this offer and help you up-level and become the highest vibe version of yourself. So get your first audiobook for free, plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days. Go to audible.com slash Lucy Fink or text Lucy Fink to 500, 500 to get started. I think my next audiobook is gonna be Becoming by Michelle Obama, but comment below to let me know which audiobook title you would listen to first. And that is it. This has been my new two bedroom, two bathroom apartment tour in downtown Manhattan. I really, really would appreciate your design suggestions. So comment below now that you've seen the space if you have any layout ideas or furniture ideas, we are always up for those. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can be alerted when the furnished apartment tour video goes up. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below letting me know what else you want to see from me and we'll see you later from New York City.